In this video, I'll show you how to customize WooCommerce product sorting and ordering using two different methods. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So throughout this video, I'll show you two different methods in how you can actually customize the ordering and sorting of your shop page on your WooCommerce store. So the first method we'll have a look at is this one here. And we're actually replacing the shop page design with this custom product table design. We can sort the products by name. We can sort it by price. We can sort it by sales or um, any other metrics in the admin area. Customers can quickly filter it by category category they can fit filter it by custom attributes or any other custom taxonomy you've got on that particular product okay they can quickly search for it as well as you can see everything's happening instantly so this is method one and this is using the AOV product table plugin and then the second method is just to use the default wordpress customizer okay and what that allows you to do is in the back end we can manually rearrange the order of the particular products here so for example usually it's in alphabetical order but in this case i've placed this particular product in the number one position okay so the built-in option that WooCommerce provide is the default sorting which is what we're seeing here we can sort by most popular product we can sort by latest and um, we can sort by price as well okay so those are two solid methods in which we'll cover throughout this video if you only use method one just head over to aovup.com go ahead and download the aovup product table plugin i'll leave a link in the description below and with that being said let's head over to our dashboard Okay, so as I said, we'll be looking at two different methods. And if you want to incorporate a product table method, assuming you've downloaded the AOV up product table, just go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Okay, so since we're here, we're just going to go ahead and click manage. Okay, so to create a more customizable shop page, we're just going to click add new product table. Okay, so we'll give it a name. This is just for internal purposes. So I'm going to say new shop page. Okay, and then we'll click on order form information. And then we just want to create our columns. Okay, so let's build it out. So first we'll display the product name, the product image, and the short description, and the price, of course. And then an add to cart button. And we'll add the categories as well. Okay, add the categories. Okay, so let's rearrange this a bit. So we want to show the product image first, then the product name. Let's rename this column. Instead of saying name, we'll say product. We'll click update and then exit off. Okay. Okay, so that looks fine. So we'll leave it like this for now. If you've got any custom um, information as well, we can use the custom data. So for example, you might have a custom taxonomy that you want to display on a product table. You can do so. But again, as I said, we just want to keep everything super simple. And for the image size, I'm going to go ahead and select 100 pixel by 100 pixel. Okay, we'll click bulk add to cart. And then here we just want to show the buttons only. We want to enable the Ajax add to cart behavior. We want to display the quantities. For our variable product, we will link it over to the shop page. That's fine. Or you can show it in a drop down list, or you can show your variation on a separate row as well. Let's go ahead and click on order form control. And this is where we want to control the product sorting. Okay. So by default, it's set to the menu order. We can sort it by SKU code, product name, ID, price, the number of sales, average review, date added, last modified, or we can select over here. And then we can sort it by a specific column that we've got on our product table. But to keep things super simple, I'm just gonna sort it by um, the number of sales. Okay, the sorting direction, I'll leave it to automatic. And product conditions, I'll just leave that as default for product filters. We're going to set this to be based on a product table. If you want, you can customize the filters. Again, I just want to keep everything super simple for this example. And then a lot of these options, I'm just going to skip over because we can just leave it as default. Okay. We can add a reset button for the form design. We can actually customize it further. But again, we're just going to leave everything here. So we'll just hit save changes. Okay, so let's head over back to our main settings page. Okay, and then here where it says shop page, we're going to go ahead and select the product table, which we just created. We named this one a new shop page, if you remember. And then we can override the category page tag page as well with our new shop page design. I'm just going to set it to the shop page for now. So let's hit save changes. 
Okay, and that's how you define. So now let's go ahead and check out our shop page. Okay, so now when we view our shop page, it's much more customizable. Okay, so for example, our customers can quickly filter by a particular attribute, for example, and as you just saw, it filters a table instantly. We can quickly reset it. We can select a category and we can quickly search for a product as well. We can customize the number of results per pages. And as I said, it's just a much more streamlined user experience. Um, currently, it doesn't look too good with the category being here. So let's quickly rearrange this and then we'll check again. Let's move this categories to just after the short description. Okay, so let's save changes and then let's refresh our shop page. That looks much better. So customers can sort each individual column, for example, we can rearrange everything by the product name. We can show the lowest price first or even the highest price first as well. Okay, so this is method one. Now let's have a quick look at method two. So to showcase method two, we're gonna disable our product table. And to customize the ordering of this particular shop page, we'll just click on customize. And we'll click on WooCommerce and then product catalog. We can sort by popularity, average rating, most recent. Um, we can sort by price ascending and descending. Okay, so you get the idea. We'll leave it to default sorting. So then I'll show you how to manually arrange your product. Let's X this off and then let's head back over to our dashboard and we'll navigate to products and then all products. And to customize the product ordering, we can just click on sort in here. And then we can just basically drag and drop the products in whichever order we want. So a pro tip as well is if you click on screen options, instead of showing 20 products per page, you might want to increase this to say 200 or whatever the number is for you. So now this way we can drag, for example, this particular product all the way in a number one position. So let's place it here. Okay, and now we can go ahead and test our shop page again. Okay, so let's view the shop page. Let's refresh this page. And here we can see bed sheets first. Okay, and that's a quick and simple way to customize your WooCommerce product order. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.